Natalia, Luxury with Natalia on Yachting International Radio, right here from the heart of Monaco at the Hotel de Paris, beautiful location with a very special guest, Antonio Cecere. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you for having me here. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Um, last time I saw you, of course, you were very much involved in um, the marketing and um, primarily with sort of the Swarovski group, the Richmond group, and that's how I um, came to meet you. But now you have evolved into something quite phenomenal and very interesting, especially for the show, as you are the president of the Geneva Diamond Exchange, as well as the founder of the Monaco Diamond Exchange. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Diamond Standards Organization is to ensure that there is a, um, a seamless uh, um, path for diamonds from rough to retail, so polished, um, where we can actually follow the ethical side of it. So this has proven to be, again, the, the right way forward because today, particularly millennials, and you know, Natalia, millennials are, um, are growing up. Mm. and uh, their uh, uh, ability to uh, purchase uh, obviously um, ineluctably increased. Mm -hmm. So it is very important uh, um, that we understand how uh, today millennials shop. Right. They are very informative uh, consumers, they know what they want, they know what they look at and they are very conscious about uh, uh, the ethical impact mm -hmm. that their purchase has on the world. So our job from our side as market regulators is to ensure that we inform and we control the markets so that when a consumer walks through the doors of a beautiful jewelry store, they have the absolute reassurance that they're buying a natural product and that the natural product has been ethically sourced. Yes. And as we are in the heart of Monaco, why did you choose Monaco and what attracts people to come here, especially in the luxury industry? On a personal level? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the well, well, of course, but look, look we, we live in a fast changing world. Of course, Monaco um, attracts uh, um, new residents. There is about 400 new residents every year mm -hmm. here. Uh, or in fact 600 and then 200 leave, so there's a net positive of 400. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> <You're laughs> the, minister, the Minister of Finance keeps <laughs> telling me all of this. And um, uh, so, so of course it is a, a um, fiscally friendly regime here. Mm -hmm. So of course there are uh, um, clear advantages in being a resident of Monaco. 